fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support i appreciate much but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave make sure you subscribe and when you subscribe remember to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video and i'm not going to let you down <laughs> so guys a lot of ladies have been telling me bella i'm looking for a white man for marriage i'm looking for a white man for a relationship or some ladies have been telling me bella i'm just looking for that serious relationship from any kind of a man of any race but guys do you know how it takes for a man to fall in love with you is it just naturally like we say love is natural <laughs> is it that way so watch this video till the end because at the end of this video you will know if love is just natural or not because in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the tips on how to make a man or a white man fall in love with you stop telling you that i like you and tell you that i love you so without wasting much of your time let us start our video right now tip number one on how to make a man or a white man fall in love with you is you should never be the one who initiates the communication all the time don't do this mistake never <laughs> i know some ladies might be really really desperate looking for a man and when you exchange phone numbers with a man then you cannot wait to communicate to this man so you are the one who always initiates the communication you really want this man so bad so this pushes you to be the one who always initiates the communication don't do that my dear sister because when you do that a man sees that you are desperate and there is no man that wants to date a lady who is desperate so give this man a chance to look for you he has got your phone numbers he has got your facebook account name he has got your instagram account page name so let him look for you give him the space to miss you give him the space to show you that he really wants you because also if you are the one who always initiates the communication then how are you going to know that this man is really into you how will you know you will not know and this might be bad on your side because you might be the one who always initiates the communication and maybe this man is not into you he takes your call just because he feels pity for you then afterwards he plays games on you and dumps you give the man the chance to miss you give the man the chance to feel like he really wants to see you and he will look for you because he knows where to find you and men really like this <laughs> they like to be men they like to be the one who looks for a lady but not a lady looking for him if you start looking for him then for him it becomes a problem my dear sister you need to really understand this so let this man be the one to look for you yes sometimes once in a while <laughs> you can call your man you can write him a message <laughs> but not all the time my dear sister you looking for him first doesn't mean that he will fall in love with you but if you mind your own business if you wait if you be a lady <laughs> i think you understand me when i say be a lady <laughs> so if you be a lady and then let this man chase you never be the one to initiate the communication all the time when you are starting a relationship with a guy <laughs> let him be the one to chase for you this will make him fall in love with you this will make him desire you more tip number two on how to make a white man or a man fall in love with you get busy be busy before knowing this guy you were busy you are a busy woman you have your job you have friends you have relatives you have your own routines that you always do so knowing this man shouldn't make you be too available for him and then make your life revolve around this man only not at all you should continue with all the routines that you used to do and you should make him know that so if you used to go out during the weekends if you're a club person you used to go clubbing go clubbing 
If you used to go to the beach, go to the beach. If you used to go visit your relatives during the weekend, continue doing that. Don't stop doing that and stay idle. Start pressing this man, pressuring this man, writing to him all the time. Call him if he doesn't pick, then it's a big problem fighting him all the time, wanting to stay close to him, asking for a dinner date. The <laughs> guy is not asking you out, but you are the one asking him to ask you out. Don't do that because you are idle. An idle mind is a devil's workshop. So don't allow yourself to be idle because when you stay idle, do you know what will happen if you're in a long distance relationship? You will end up taking nude photos of yourself and send them to him because you don't have anything to do you are idle and you start having strange thoughts that will make you do things that will scare away this man so be busy your life should continue as it used to be we take an example a guy calls you and invites you for a dinner date if that day you had planned to go out maybe for a movie with your friends i advise you to go to a movie with your friend. Tell this guy that I am sorry I had planned to go out with my friends. We can go for dinner maybe tomorrow or the next weekend. If he is a good guy, if he is a serious guy, he is going to wait. He will not leave you. He will understand you because he knows that you had your own happy life before knowing him. He should respect that. And he will love you for that because a lady who respects herself because guys sometimes being too available makes men even disrespect you <laughs> because if you are too available you ask for a dinner date from this guy and if this guy was just observing you if you are a good woman or not <laughs> he might take advantage of that he invites you for dinner after dinner then he takes the goodies <laughs> <laughs> and then after the goodies you know what follows if you slept with a player you have some other more important things that you should be doing and after all guys you're just getting to know this guy so if a guy sees this he will know that you are a keeper you are an intelligent lady you understand yourself and you are a lady who can run your own life which is a very good thing and men like that but you calling him wanting to stay on the phone wanting to talk to him all the time he will get bored <laughs> after some time he will get bored and say no i'm tired this lady is too much so get busy my dear sister tip number three on how to make a man or a white man fall in love with you you should be a very interesting lady whenever this man talks to you he will want to call you again and again and again or if he has invited you for dinner then he will want to invite you again and again and again because being with you is very interesting you are a very interesting lady when you talk you can handle a conversation you talk things that have sense <laughs> don't be a lady who writes those stupid messages <laughs> asking stupid questions don't be that lady you should be a lady who is interesting a lady who is energetic a lady who is always positive a lady who talks sense when a man sees this in you he is going to fall in love with you my dear sister he will trust me <laughs> tip number four on how to make a man or a white man fall in love with you you should level up my dear sister men like to see beautiful things so you should work on your beauty and saying this i don't mean you should go and make surgery to change yourself and look beautiful not at all you are beautiful the way you are what you need to do is to level up take good care of yourself if you're not a makeup person then make sure your skin is glowing all the time you are taking a good care of yourself go buy those beautiful dresses get to know your body type so that you can dress it nicely and look beautiful the dresses shouldn't be expensive but if you dress yourself very well if you dress yourself according to your body shape 
every dress will look good on you so look for those dresses put on those dresses change your hairstyle if a man talked to you the other time you had a different hairstyle then this time if he sees another hairstyle he gets excited he feels like he should be there with you so that he can touch your hair so that he can kiss you so that he can touch your skin you know because you are looking beautiful you are taking a good care of yourself and not only that guys if you take a good care of yourself makes you feel very good about yourself makes you a very positive happy person so if a man sees this he's going to fall in love with you and he's going to desire you more and more and he loves what he sees he will want to keep it <laughs> Tip number five on how to make a man or a white man fall in love with you is never show trust issues on a man you're just getting to know. Never do that, my dear sister. I imagine maybe you met this guy online, you're just getting to know each other, and then immediately you're telling this guy, leave the site. Why do you want to stay online? Or you always go back to see if he logged in and then you start telling him why were you there were you, were you chatting with other ladies or maybe you are in a relationship already and then this guy tells you ah this weekend i will go out with my friends then when he comes back late he tells you oh my love i just came back then you're like why are you late where were you were you with other ladies you know don't do that please please respect yourself enough to not be bothered by what this man does it is his job to show you that you can trust him fully and he knows if he does something stupid he's going to lose you so you don't need to fight you don't need to have doubts that this guy is cheating on you you don't need to worry at all because you are a queen and he should treat you as his queen he shouldn't cheat on you he should show you that you can trust me fully no need to show that you don't trust this man no need to tell this man that you're cheating on me no need to control this man where he goes what he does because no man wants to be controlled if you start controlling him then you are going to lose him be unbothered and this man is going to show you that you can trust him fully he's going to love you for that because men want peace men want women who are caring men want women who are understanding there is no need for you to control this man because even if you control him if he is a cheater he's going to cheat so don't be like what are you doing where were you all talking about his ex if you know anything about his ex bringing his ex <laughs> into your conversation because your jealousy you want to control this man a lot he is going to leave you just be unbothered he is going to love you for that because he knows you are a woman who is very sure of herself you are not insecure and men like women who are not insecure who are sure of themselves who know what they want don't be bothered by what this man does and start controlling him when you just get to know each other but just watch how this man shows you how you can trust him fully because you give him calmness you give him peace you give him positivity he's going to love you so much for that he will be crazily in love with you <laughs> tip number six on how to make a man or a white man fall in love with you be open i think i talked about this but it's so important to repeat it be open be yourself and tell this man how you want to be treated i like this i don't like this if you do this you lose me if you do this i like this so that this man can get to know you more don't be scared to tell him that you don't like this thinking that mm, if i tell him i don't like this then he's gonna leave me no you need to be a lady who speaks for yourself you need to be a lady who speaks your mind it's so important guys this will help you even in the future if you marry this guy if he does something that you don't like you will speak for yourself you will speak it's so important guys you need to speak you need to be open as possible you need to make sure that this man understands you and you also need to treat him just like any other man yes he's a white man but 
don't treat him like a white man because for us black women you know dating a white man is a new thing everything is new so sometimes you're like mm, if i do this maybe i'm gonna upset him if i tell him no maybe <laughs> maybe i'm going to upset him and you don't want to lose this white man because you want to date a white man you want to you want to get married to a white man no my dear sister speak your mind speak for yourself be open if a man sees that you are open you tell him everything what you like what you don't like he will know you more he will like this and he will know that you are a lady who can stand for yourself you are not in a relationship with him just because he is a white man because if you start treating him like yes yes everything yes everything yes then he'll be like mm, oh this lady just wanted a white man <laughs> oh this lady was just interested in dating a white man <laughs> not me don't be a yes lady not everything that you say yes if something that you don't like tell him i don't like simple it's so simple guys he's going to fall in love with you for that for being yourself for being open for telling him what you like what you don't like for telling him you did wrong this is wrong i don't like it tell him be open don't be scared that you will lose him if you tell a guy the truth and then he leaves you then he does not deserve you he was not the one but a guy who is really serious if you speak your mind if you tell him what you don't like what you like if you are a lady who don't say yes for everything this guy is going to love you so much for that so my dear beautiful ladies who are looking for a white man who are looking for a relationship always speak your mind speak your mind i've seen a lot of ladies are married and afterwards they're like oh my god i wish i knew because they started a relationship while not speaking everything they say yes you can't just from nowhere <laughs> start saying no 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 it's not like that i don't like this he will not understand you and you will start fighting and if you don't fight then it's you who is going to get hurt have a lot of things that you keep for yourself you don't speak them out so be a lady who is open be yourself and then this white man is going to fall in love with you my dear sister tip number seven on how to make a man or a white man fall in love with you be that lady who always compliments him if he does something good tell him that i am so proud of you i like what you did give him the energy to continue tell him that he can count on you because men want women that they can always count on like a best friend so if he sees this in you he's going to fall in love with you my dear sister trust me <laughs> so guys my last tip of today never use sex as a weapon to get a man because some ladies will just throw themselves to men believing that if they do that it's a weapon to get a man to love them not at all sex has never kept a man if it was like that then we wouldn't have a lot of ladies who are having heartbreaks yes guys it has never kept a man and and guys if you throw yourself to a man and then this man is a player he is going to play you he will take the goodies and afterwards guys you will lose your power because if a man sees your body then your power is gone that is when this man will start to manipulate you that is when you start calling this man all the time that is when you want this man for yourself my dear sister it's a crazy thing to do don't jump into bed with a man that you're just getting to know thinking that he will fall in love with you no and when you do that a man will think that you are so easy there is no man that wants an easy lady there is no man that wants a lady who is for everybody no man that wants that kind of a lady so respect yourself yes eventually you will give it to him yes i know you will give the goodies but that you just need to be very sure that he is the one he is serious he shows you that he is the one a guy who can tell the whole world that he is in love with you then you can go ahead and do what and give the goodies but you using 
as the first weapon to get a man, you will end up crying. You will end up having a lot of heartbreaks. You will be played by players. Avoid this. If you are thinking this way, then it's time to remove it in your head that SES has never kept a man. SES cannot make a man fall in love with you. There is a lot more than SES that this man wants to see in you in order to fall in love with you. So that's it guys. So please respect yourself as a lady. Don't sleep with this guy so fast like that. Take your time. Even if he asks for it, tell him that I am not ready yet. I need more time to get to know you so that this man can show you his real intentions which will lead you to open your... <laughs> Finish the gap. Thank you so much guys for watching this video till now. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate your support. God bless you. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy it. Watch my other videos too. They are so good. Subscribe please if you haven't. <laughs> I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.